Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the speed up tricks on the Google Pixel 9a. Okay, so let's begin. So we can begin with opening up our settings. And now we want to get access into the developer options. To do it, we need to click on about phone first. Now we need to find the build number, which is on the bottom as you scroll down from the top. And now we need to tap on it until we get this confirmation to draw our pattern if we have the screen lock set. And now we have access and we could see on the bottom of the screen that we are now a developer. So now once it's enabled, we need to click on the system, scroll down and in here we have the developer options. Okay, now we need to scroll until we find the three specific options. So let's keep on scrolling. It should be somewhere in here. Yeah, okay. So the three options that I'm talking about are window animation scale, transition animation scale, and the animator duration scale. To boost up your speed, we can select all those three options to 0.5x, or we can click completely on off, but it's completely up to you. I'm gonna leave on 0.5x each three options. Okay, there's also another option that we can change right in here in the developer options. We can scroll down a little bit and find background process limit under the apps. Click on right in here. And you can set that option on at most three processes or at most four processes. It is completely up to you. I'm gonna click on at most three. Okay, now we can disable the settings and turn them off. And now we can go and find and find files. We don't need to allow the notifications. And here we can use sorry, not that, my bad. Let's click on apps. And in here we can simply uninstall the apps that we are not currently using or other junk apps that we don't want to. So simply to uninstall an app, we have it above. We have, have three options such as install apps, system apps and app install files. And to uninstall on the app, simply click on those three dots. But I suggest you shouldn't install uninstall the system as only the in apps that you downloaded from the Play Store. So to uninstall the app, simply click on those three dots and click on uninstall. But you shouldn't uninstall the apps that are installed defaultly. All right. Okay, now what can we do next? Also, you should perform a simple reboot from time to time because during that process you delete some of the background processes on your phone and it also frees up some RAM. Frees some RAM. To perform a simple reboot, simply tap the power button and the volume up button to launch the power menu, just like that. And now all you need to do is to simply tap on restart and then your screen will go black and within a few seconds the phone will be automatically turned on again and ready to use. I assume that you should perform a reboot 
once in a week. I think that's a pretty good schedule once a week is enough. Okay, also we can go into the settings. Again, into the system. Scroll down a little bit and click on software updates. Click on system update and simply from time to time you can check if there is a possible system update. So simply click on check for update, wait a little bit and if there will be a possible update to download, simply install it. In my case I don't need to install anything because I have the latest version. Also we have the app updates to make your device run smoother. Make sure that you are using apps that you don't need to install latest version that are updated. Okay. Okay, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.